I know that uh, last uh, uh, last year I was preaching about how many of you remember last year for the Mother's Day. About mothers. Mm, yeah, you remember that even you know the most important person who remember that message is uh, Bhaskar and Divya because they gave their daughter name Sarah. So it was from Genesis chapter 17 verse 15. But today, uh, I'm not going to preach anything, but I would like to uh, pick up some of the incredible thoughts about the mother. And also, I would like to tell you uh, what is the importance of a mother in family and in the society. And uh, that also is going to be based um, on some of the uh, Bible verses. So let us all uh, sit very carefully, sit in the presence of God especially. This will be a great blessing for the mothers and also uh, for all the children and also for the husbands. Amen. So there's a question. Okay. The, the, heading is, uh, the heading is, a human mother who leads her kids to God, the heavenly mother. Listen. A human mother who leads her kids to God, the heavenly mother. The question is, can we consider our almighty God as our mother in any ways? Can we consider our heavenly father or almighty God as a mother in any ways? Let me get the answer. Yes? yes? How can we consider our Almighty God as a mother? Because He is a heavenly Father. We call Him Heavenly Father, Father, Father. Yeah. Remember, theologically, referring to God as God the Mother is unbiblical. But in Bible, we see in many places, God's motherly character or actions or concerns is mentioned in different books of the Bible. For example, we can consider our Almighty God as a mother in different ways. For example, we sing some songs. Even today we sang a Malayalam song. What was that? So we are singing that song about God. So God is a mother. And there is a Telugu song. That Telugu song. Who is, who is here? No. Okay. Pascal, you know that song? Oh, Divya? Oh, very good. Okay. So, so I know that song. Okay. Amma, Nana. And we sing uh, one, one, one Malayalam song also. Another song. Um, what is that? Appanum ammayum Vedum dhanangilum Vastu sukhangilum Kartavatre One more. One um, Tamil song. Tamil song. Urutai te tuva de po in the sir te tuva. So I can consider, you can also consider your Almighty God, Heavenly Father, as a mother, because God has a motherly love, motherly affection, motherly, I mean, actions, and all those things are related to God. So God is a mother also in different ways. Amen. So in my experience, I lost my mother when I was six months old. I lost my mother when I was six months old. Um, so I have no memories about my mother. Uh, it's true that I have a stepmother and I, had, I have a sisters and I had uh, those days I had a, um, um, what is that, um, grandmother. Amachi was there, and uh, uh, by the grace of God, after my marriage, I got a, uh, a wonderful um, mother-in-law also. She is just like a mother for me. She is just like a mother for me, not uh, just like a mother-in-law or something. So, anyway, if I, even though I had all these things in my experience, the Almighty God was Himself was always been a mother for me in all my ways. 
So that's the reason that I'm, I'm sharing about this thing. Because even though I lost my mother in my sixth month, when I remember that God's presence is with me, and thus far the Lord has brought me up to this point, it's only because of the grace of God. It's only because of the faithfulness of God. So we can consider God as our mother in many places, in many experiences. That is one the basis of the reflections of a mother from the character of God. Because we can experience different affections and feelings of a human mother from the character of God. So let me read out some of the, I mean, I mean, beautiful thoughts about a mother and also some of the Bible verses which reveals the motherly characters, I mean, of our Lord and Jesus Christ. I mean, so the first thing, first thing is the compassion and unconditional love of God and a, love, and a mother. The compassion and unconditional love of a mother. So... Uh, Cardinal Mabelon said like this, Compassion, a mother, is she who can take the place of all others, but whose place no one else can take. In Isaiah chapter 66 verse 13 we read, As a mother comforts her child, so will comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. For example, you know, you can see the unconditional love towards the children of a mother. You know, sometimes uh, the kids, when they are doing some kind of naughty things, you know, fathers used to run or, uh, run after them when they are uh, trying to punish them, okay, beating them or punishing them. So where they will go? Where the small kids will go? Around the mother, right? Around the mother. And they know that they are protected, okay? They are protected behind the mothers. So that means, you know, the mothers are always loving the children more, I think more than fathers maybe second point the character of care and protection a mother's arm are made of tenderness and children sleep soundly in them victor hugo that's what we read in psalm number 91 verse 4 that he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. That means covering with feathers is something a mother bird normally does. That's the reason that word is written in, in that way. So you can look into that point, you know. It is there in, in, in the screen. So the third one is nursing, teaching, and nourishing character of a mother and a god. You know, um, Peng Lewin said, uh, a child's first teacher is its mother. The child's first teacher is, is, is its mother. When you read in Hosea chapter 11 verses 3 and 4, we read there, we see God takes the motherly role of nursing, teaching and nursing. That God said, it was who? I who taught Ephraim to walk. And I took them up and I bent down to feed them. So teaching, feeding, nursing or uh, what is that, uh, 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 I mean, nour uh, nourishing, all these things are done by God also. Even the mothers also are doing that same thing. And the fourth one is unforgettable character. Unforgettable character. Yes, unforgettable. This is the... Yeah. Um, okay, so um, uh, uh, what is that? Agatha, yeah, Agatha uh, Tristre said that a mother's love for her child is like nothing else in the world. It knows no law, no pity. It dares all things and crushes down remorselessly all that stands in the path. That means unforgettable character of God and mother is revealed even in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15. It says that can a mother, can a woman forget her nursing child that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb. Even these may forget yet I will not forget you and the fifth point the fifth one is painful and sacrificial character of a mother and our lord jesus what is that the natural state of motherhood is unselfishness jessica lang said in john chapter 3 verse 16 says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life we know mothers goes through difficulties and pains no and you know, we know that the, the, the mothers are going through the lot of pains and uh, the, the difficult situations and and, uh, and and they are i mean in painful in delivering a child 
and sacrifices many things to raise them are without selfishness but mother is always ready to give anything to make sure that her kids are always alive so i pray for all the mothers in our church that may the lord enable each of you to lead your children to the almighty god who has the motherly qualities and the characters and i pray i i, I request all the mothers to come forward here and uh, i mean stand here facing the audience all the mothers of our church i mean everyone everyone yeah come forward and uh, i mean stand here and we would like to pray for you come front and facing to the audience